Hi, this is Katie with Programming for Industry 4.0 for Mechatronics. And right now, this is the hardware version of Python for CircuitPython using Moo and a Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. Um, we're looking at basic digital I.O., so we're assigning a, um, a LED to a output and a button to an input and that button will trigger the output. So here in the code we've got import board, import digital IO, import time. All these libraries are being used right now. And then we've got our variable which is digital IO to digital in, in and out and the address is board D13. So that's the very tiny little red LED. It's basic basic as it gets on this board. There it is. And I've got it as, let's refocus here, LED switch to output. So it'll be switched as an output. Then I've got a variable name of button 1, which is addressed as board D5, which is this button right here. As you can see, it is labeled as D5. As it focuses, there it goes. And I have that as a switch to input, and I've got a pull down resistor on it. And we'll see why I have a pull down resistor on it. Helps make things a little bit more clear and concise when I'm pressing the button. So I've got a while loop right here. I have if button value is true, or while it's true, the LED value will turn true, and it will essentially turn on for a half second, then go false, and turn on for a half second, and loop as long as the button is being held down. So while the button is being held down, the LED will blink at a half second interval. The else statement is when the button is false, the LED value will be false. And we've got a small debounce right here, which is time.sleep for tenth of a second. Or I'm sorry, hundredth of a second. So here, with the board, we're watching for this LED here to blink as soon as I turn this on. And I'm holding it down and it is blinking, blinking, blinking. And as soon as I let go, nothing. Perfect. Now, why did I use the pull down resistor? Why didn't I just say it was an input? Well, let's see here. This was what I was originally using, and I had quite a few issues. So let's copy this and stick it into the actual code. Actually, let me save this here. Copy. All right, I've got the defunct code, the code that wasn't working without the debounce, and we're going to save it into the microcontroller here. All right, and watch as I slowly wave it around. I'm not even touching the button, or barely even, and it is going off, going crazy. And then it stays on, even when the button's off. It's just very erratic. It's not even blinking. It's not doing anything. It's just going off on its own. And what this happens, why this happens, is that there's too much variability between true and false. There's just too much going on here for the button, so it's reading as true and false. So why you use the pull-down resistor is when that internal resistor will pull pull the voltage down until it is truly false. And that's how you get the very nice and crisp on and off. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.